Hello, welcome to the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com Open Series in Baltimore. I'm Nick Miller alongside Dylan Heisen. How are you doing, sir? Good, thank you. You just won your winning end to the top eight here, the yeah. last standard Open of this season yeah. before we get Magic Origins. And we've chosen you for the Open Series Spotlight because you're playing Mono Red Devotion. Yes. A deck that people have wanted to be a thing for so long. <laughs> and it's kind of fitting that, you know, this deck has been a thing you can do and you've proven that it's here in the top eight. You know, why, why would you play a deck like this when you have so many options and so many devotion options as well? Yeah, well, at its core, I think this deck is a uh, Storm Breath, Thunder Break, uh, Thunder Break deck. And there's Red Green, Aggro, and Mardu Dragons. It's a similar deck to those two. So mm -hmm. it's not it's not too off kilter, but I like the synergies that you that go with it. You get some explosive turns. Um, and also, I just like playing Mono Red. I've been playing Mono sure. Red at Standard for a few years now. Right, the thing we kind of noticed in this deck when we saw it on camera the one round is you're able to play an aggressive game that some of the Devotion decks can't do. You know, your creatures just work as aggressive creatures as yeah. well. You know, you've got Rabble Master in here alongside Idol of the Great Revel and Dragon Whisper into your dragons, so you can have these aggressive curves. Yeah, against most decks you want to function as, a, as an aggro deck. And then what's also cool is that you against um, other aggro decks you can kind of side into more of a controlling deck and try to eliminate their plays. Uh, and I think it works really well, yeah. Right. So you curve into these bigger threats, Storm Breath, Dragon, Thunderbreak Region. Mm -hmm. Of course, you got Draconic War in here yeah. as well. But you also have Fanatic of Mogus, which really ties all of this together. You're getting so many of these pips into the board. Yeah. You just kind of kill them out of nowhere. Yeah, Fanatic's a great reason to play the all the your Devotion pips, the two drops. This deck plays Dragon Whisper, not a great card, mm -hmm. but uh, you need two uh, red, red, two drops. Um, some lists I've seen aren't playing Fnatic. It's probably one of the worst cards, but it leads to some explosive turns. Uh, it's just when you get when they kill your uh, earlier threats, uh, it doesn't do much on its own, but it can get. It, it, it's a good synergistic card. Now your last round, I saw you win due to basically just all the flying threats you have in your deck. Yeah. On top of the dragons, Flame Week Phoenix, and Ash Cloud Phoenix, but Dragon Whisper being able to have flying is pretty key too. I saw you beat Abzan Aggro. Uh, Abzan Rally, a bunch of Abzan decks, seems to just be a good place to be. Yeah, it's, it's funny that it's a flying red deck, uh, but really most of my creatures fly or can fly, and uh, that works really well against Abzan Aggro, and it's okay against uh, more controlling Abzan shells too. Okay. You got Nykthos and one uh, Haven here that can kind of bring back your dragons. Yeah, eight, eight dragons, so dragon synergies with Draconic Roar and Haven, yeah. Okay. And what's like the most explosive thing you can do with Nykthos in this deck? Uh, in, the, in my winning in, I had... Um, basically two red red creatures on the field and I had a few in hands and Nick those allows you too if you have enough mana play basically your entire hand and top it off with a fanatic for like 10 mm -hmm. and that's what that's actually what got uh, my opponent in the second game of the winning end round. Have you gotten to use the formidable on Dragon Whisper any? Uh, not this tournament but I have before. It's not not super relevant but it's nice to nice to have. Sure. Now your sideboard here is very clean cut. You're not yes. messing around with what you're doing. Three stoke, four roast, Four Anger, four Wild Slash. Yeah. Uh, one of the big things is I'm not sure which burn spells to play main board. Main, right now I have Draconic Roar and Crater's Claws. Mm -hmm. uh, a, few, a month ago I was playing Wild Slash instead of Crater's Claws. Depends on the metagame. Um, so this sideboard's nice. It allows you to allows me to just um, side into whichever burn spells are best in the matchup. Wild Slash and Anger against aggro decks, mm -hmm. and Roast and Stoke against more mid-range decks. Okay. Are there any matchups where you're just kind of shifting into like a control deck? Yeah, against uh, the all-in mono-red deck. I want to bring in uh, Angers and Wild Slashes and kill their threats, and then uh, try to then just try to kill them quick enough before they top deck burn spells. Sure. Mm -hmm. What would you say your best and worst matchups are with this kind of deck? Uh, I think this deck is good against uh, aggressive decks. Vance Heroic I'm very good against. Um, mono red, it may be, I may be a slight dog game one, but at post board, very good against. And then worst matchups, um, I don't think the deck is great against uh, Abzan midrange, but it might be even. Uh, and then um, Esper Dragons, I don't think is a great matchup. Okay. Now with Magic Origins coming out, have you looked at the spoiler? Have you seen any tools you might want to slot into here? Yeah, I might be not remembering some, but the only thing I can remember is the uh, Red, red, colorless, four damage, burn spell. Mm -hmm. uh, that seemed like seems like that might be a main deck card for basically any red deck. Yeah, with look. spell mastery makes it uncounterable. Yeah, that card looks very good. All right. All right. Have you thought about Chandra or any of the other ones? Yeah, Chandra, 
this deck is lacking a second good three drop. Flame Wake, one of the big appeals to playing this deck is you get to play Flame, Flame Wake Phoenix, which is can be a very good card if there's not a lot of flying in the metagame. Um, but other than that, the second three drop, Goblin Rabble Master right now. Go Rabble Master I don't think is very good in this metagame. I'm playing him anyway. I might, I maybe shouldn't be, but it's possible Chandra could be the second three drop creature. That's a good point. Could never be too wrong with Goblin Rabble Master though. Yeah. All right, Dylan, well this deck looks great. Good luck to you in the top eight here. Thanks for joining me in the sideboard. Enjoy the video series here for the Open Series Spotlight. I'm Nick Miller, Dylan Heising here in the sideboard.